In previous exercise, we used random between to calculate dice 1 and dice 2. In exercise 8, we are going to see the sum of four dices by first creating two on two dices. So we are going to, instead of just calculating everything all the time, we are going to use a lookup function, which we need to the cumulative chance for. So the first thing we do is we create all the possible combinations with dice 1 and dice 2, creating this sum, and then we need to count. The, poss the possible eyes. So the range in this case is called exercise 8 sum. That's the, see on top of here. And the criteria was A45. So of course it's only once that you have, there's only one combination you, you can have to create two, two times one eagle eyes right or something like snake eyes right snake eyes and um, so how do you now calculate the chance well the first thing we need to know then is the sum of all the possibilities which is 36 and what we then need is we need to divide our current value divided by that sum now the sum in this case needs to be an absolute value so i'm going to put dollar signs between it there you go oh 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 What's yeah, it's not 37, it's 36. Okay, and then we can just copy it. Okay, we don't actually need the last value. So the cumulative chance, of course, starts with 2.78 and will be over here a hundred. But the lookup function will always look at a value smaller than the current value. So it, it's a very small chance that it will be the same value. So what we will do is we'll just start at zero. And this is a little bit not really the cumulative change. The, so we shift everything one cell, right? But it's just to make sure that the lookup function will work properly. And if I now take it one step further, you will see that it goes to 100. So, okay, that's the cumulative chance. What we can do now is over here calculate dice 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 by doing a lookup. So, lookup, there's the lookup. It takes a value, in our case, a random. And then the next value is a lookup factor. What's lookup factor? I'll just show on top. You see the cumulative chance over here. This random value will be something between 0 and 1, so something between 0 and 100%. And once it's uh, somewhere in between here, it will actually look up the same value over here. So it's going to say 7 eyes. Okay? So what we need is we need the exercise 8 sum. No, sorry, cum, cumulative, and we need exercise eight eyes. There you go. So if we select those two. So that's how the lookup works. It takes a random value, searches down here, and then jumps to the eyes. And that's our function. We need it. One's over here, one's over there, and then you need to populate your simulation, pop, populate the simulation, and your sum is again dice 1 and 2 plus dice 3 and 4. That's the sum, also populate it over here, and then again it's always the same, we do a count, count if of the range in this case is the sum of 4, also named it that way, exercise 8 sum 4, oh, 4, Oops, made a mistake. Yep. Exercise 8, sum of 4. Now it selects them. And the criteria is again A61, the cell just in front of it, which I cannot select for some strange reason. So you see that in this case, in this simulation, there, uh, although you, you rolled a thousand times, you never got four ones. So it's a very small chance. And if we select them for them all, you will see again, you can already see that they form a normal distribution. So we're going to take again our 3D char over there, put it over here somewhere. And we're going to change a little bit of in it. We're going to make sure that the X over here 
stays fixed on 150. Okay, we need to select the data and the range is okay. The name should be, well, just take this as name, but the X value needs to go from 2 to 24. Okay, okay. So that looks better, but you see over here, oh, minus 10. Why is it minus 10? That's not good. So we're going to fix that as well. 1x should never be 0. Minus should be just 0. Okay. And down here, you see that everything is just squeezed. So we're going to select the axis and just make sure that once every two, that's better, right? So again, you see the normal distribution. So let's actually do an exercise on the normal distribution. Go over here. We're going to do one where the median is 0 0.5 and the deviation is the standard deviation is 0 0.15. So how are we going to do that? First of all, we need to have random values. So again, we're going to take random. Just select them. So it takes my random value and I want all of them. So the, the, the next thing I want to do is actually sort the random values. But the problem is at this moment, there's actually a random function. So every time I refresh, my sorting will be, well, undone, right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to replace those values, not by the function, but by the value of that function. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy them we're going to paste them special and just say that we want the values over here, values. If you do that, you will see that this random will just change to the value it creates. So now it doesn't, re so now if you change something or you refresh, those numbers will stay the same. So the next thing we'll do is just sort it. Uh, only the current selection, sort. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's because it's A minus 0 0.5, so this is a very small number, okay? <laughs> First thought it was 2.7, that couldn't be. Okay, so that's our X value. So our X value is just some random numbers going from 0 to, let's see, be almost 1 when you're at 1,000, okay? Back on top. So the next thing we need to do is get the normal distribution, that's normal distribution. It takes first of all our x value, that's this value. Then you need the median, that's this value, and the deviation. And the cumulative, well you can have a look what it exactly means, but there is no cumulative effect. False. Yeah, eight and nine, strange. Oh, sorry, I forgot to L. <laughs> okay, but I did see that I kind of changed the names over here. It's exercise eight and nine. Okay, that's why I was quiet, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it's just a bad name. So we're gonna take this normal distribution, but the false was missing a letter. Okay, so again, I'm going to populate them everywhere. Now you see all these numbers. I mean, it's very unclear what is happening over here. So we're going to do some other things to make it more clear. First, we're going to create the cumulative A value. So the first value is just Y, right? And in the next values, it's going to be this one plus this one up. And then we populate everything. The cumulative chance, now you could say like, is it the chance of this? I just want to know what's the chance that this happens. So I'm just going to look at the simulations and I know there are thousands of them. So I'm going to just say that it's the number of simulation divided by thousand. Right, so it will nicely count from 0 0.1 to 100. Okay, so now that we have all the data, we're going to create some chars. Now we're going to create uh, the chattered 
marker again. Um, yeah, well, it's gonna use two functions. And I'm gonna do the rest manually. Yep, gonna oh, gonna change the data of data of this. This is of course not good, but instead of going down, selecting them all, I'm just going to say I know that it's 1030. There you go, and the x values is going to be that's for the cumulative. So in that case, we need the cumulative chance. So they will be from this. Yep. I'm gonna select two, and I'm gonna do it manually over here. It's gonna be quicker than I if I try to get all the way down. And just gonna call it cumulative. Okay, now it's a, it's a very thick snake kind of, but that's because we have all the dots. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna format the data series. And I'm gonna say that we don't want any markers, and the line can be well smaller. Well, that's maybe a little bit too small. So let's say one and a half. Okay, there you go. So of course we know that it's never gonna be bigger than hundred percent, and never can be bigger than thousand. So we can actually change stuff over here as well. Just say that the scale is going to be thousands maximum. Okay, scale over here is well, okay. Maybe over here I should change a little bit, say that it jumps with intervals between, let's say, 100. There you go. Okay, so that's the cumulative chance. First, should actually have created the normal distribution. So, I'm um, gonna do just the same as with the other graph. I'm gonna do the full data by selecting them. It's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. Oh, this one over here, this one over there, and then selecting the data. And I know over here it's going to be 1030. And in this case, our what's our y value? Um, should be hmm, the simulation, right? So on this one. Just gonna select a few. Up. I'm gonna change it manually. And the name is of course hmm. just why? Just why? There you go. Yep. Again, it's this thick snake, but that's because we are having markers, which we don't. And the marker lines gonna be okay. Hmm, still tick. Data, marker line, weight. Markers are off. Just one. Yeah, well, you can see the point, right? So now you see. A normal distribution and over here the cumulative change and of course if I refresh all the time they, it will change oh no of course it will change because those are fixed numbers so that's the normal distribution and the cumulative effect it has and that's it